How bad is Florida's homeowner's insurance crisis? That's what the federal government wants to know. Wink News consumer reporter Andriana Shepard explains how a U.S. Senate meeting today aimed to learn about the growing insurance problems across the country and why Florida's crisis is infamous. Deborah Wood is very familiar with Florida's homeowner's insurance crisis. Rising insurance premiums have repeatedly forced Wood's family to sell their homes in search of a place less likely to be hit by hurricanes and in the hopes they could afford insurance rates. After decades of searching, that hope died earlier this year. We've learned there's no escaping the insurance problems and weather disasters are becoming more and more prevalent, even in previously safe areas like Tallahassee. For two hours, U.S. Senators and insurance experts discussed how climate change is impacting insurance companies, your rates, and the rest of the country. And Florida took center stage. In Florida, national insurers have reduced their exposure as a significant proportion of the insurance market has moved to citizens or smaller insurers with limited capital that are heavily dependent on external reinsurance. Raid Musselin used to be the advisory council chair of the Florida Hurricane Catastrophe Fund. It was created in the wake of Hurricane Andrew, which hit the state in 1992. The fund reimburses insurance companies some of the money they spend paying out your hurricane claims. A major hurricane hitting a densely populated area like Miami could trigger large and long-lasting post-event assessments or even exceed the system's funding capacity. He talked about how the CAP fund and the state's insurer of last resort, citizens, are not a sustainable way to approach homeowners insurance. To date, Florida's system has been successful in meeting its claims obligations while improvements in building codes have reduced loss exposure. However, for a variety of reasons, including exposure to hurricanes, claims cost inflation, and litigation, Florida's insurance premiums are the highest in the nation. Senators from wildfire-plagued areas mentioned they are starting to deal with policy non-renewals and increasing rates in their states. Experts wondered if building zones across the country should be changed, with the expectation that if you build in a high-risk area, your insurance coverage will come at a pretty penny. Regardless, this discussion now doesn't help Wood and her family. We haven't decided what our next step will be, but at this stage of our lives, we are not willing to risk our financial well-being by buying a home that one day may be uninsurable or craters in value in a housing market fueled by the homeowner's insurance crisis. Because Florida homeownership is now out of reach for many. Andriana Shepard, Wink News. We reached out to Citizens Property Insurance about this hearing today. A spokesperson sent us the seven-page letter the CEO sent the committee chair in April. It reads in part that Citizens is structured and has the resources in place to always be able to pay claims without federal assistance.